She told me that it's whatever corporate decides. I've been in my closet trying to figure out what to wear. I think I have decided to just wear this quick sew pullover that I made a while ago, like years ago. And then I'm just gonna pair it with these jeans. I am all dressed. I decided to put this denim shirt under this pullover because it's raining outside. It's only in the 50s today. And yeah, I don't know why I'm in such a blah mood. I'm on my way to the dentist. And then after the dentist, I'm going to go fabric shopping. I'm sitting in the parking lot of my dentist's office and I just left my appointment and it took me so long to get here this morning with the rain and the traffic it took forever so I got here with like 10 minutes to spare and I was thinking I wasn't gonna make it but I made it so I'm happy about that now I'm going to my next stop which is LA Finch fabrics it is still raining I don't know if you all can hear the raindrops falling on the car but yeah it's been raining all day so I decided after I left the dentist that maybe I should grab something to eat before coming to LA Finch Fabrics right so I went to this restaurant called Noodles and Company and when I got there it was 10 30 so I was like hmm it doesn't look like this place is open so I pulled up the app Yelp and I put in noodles and company and it said okay this place will be open at 11 o'clock so I was like okay I'll wait since it's 10 30 I'll wait the 30 minutes so I decided to like lean my seat back I pulled up the Kindle app and started reading a book on my phone I got all comfortable so I sat in the car for 30 minutes so around 11 o'clock I was like okay the restaurant should be getting ready to open but I didn't see anybody coming to open the door. So I was like, hmm, let me call. So I called the restaurant and someone answered and I was like, hello. I said, what time do you open? And the guy was like, today we opened at 1030. No, you didn't. I was like, oh my goodness. I could have been in here eating 30 minutes ago. LA Finch has moved to a new location and this is what is in store at the moment. I really love the remnants because they're usually like really inexpensive. So I noticed that they're back here. So I'm gonna look through these and hopefully I can come away with some goodies. There's some fabric here, some stuff over here. There's a little cutting table. So I'm going to spend a little time in here seeing what I can find and I'll keep you guys posted. So the owner came out and she brought out like four or five bins of remnants so there's more to look through. when I was in LA Finch fabric I did purchase one fabric and it is a striped denim fabric when I was looking at it I thought that it would be really cute for some overalls then I left there and I went to a store called fabric outlet and crafts and I found some more striped denim fabric so I picked that up it's really nice 
and then I ended up going to Hobby Lobby. I was looking for some Sherpa fabric and I found some and it's some Sherpa fabric that I actually purchased before. The fabric is Sherpa on one side and corduroy on the other. So I think that that would be really perfect for one of the simplicity coat patterns that I picked up recently. So I also ended up picking up some brown lining fabric to go with the Sherpa fabric. So I think that's gonna be my next project. I've started cutting out view A, Simplicity 8797 again. And you will need nine pattern pieces if you make the coat just the way that it is here. But I've decided that I don't want this tab in the back. So for me, I'm going to just cut out eight pattern pieces. I had these fabric scraps left over from when I purchased this fabric before. And I want to use this in some kind of way. I'm thinking maybe I will add some pockets to the front and or maybe just a belt to go with the coat. So I'm going to use this jeans needle because the fabric is so thick. And I did end up cutting out front pockets. I did end up cutting out a belt for this coat and I used Berta 6294 for the belt pattern piece and also for the front pocket pattern piece. Right now I'm about to do some stay stitching around the neck edge. I did cut out an extra small and I also increased my stitch length. So instead of sewing at 2.5, I'm sewing at 3.0. I took the pattern piece and I placed it up to my body just to kind of get an idea of where I wanted the pockets to go. And let me put this on my shoulder. So I have the pocket right here and I like that. It's not too high and it's not too low. The pattern calls for side pockets. So I'm still going to go ahead and add the side pockets even though I have front pockets. And the sleeves were sewn in flat which is really helpful because since the fabric is so thick it made it much easier to handle. I just finished putting in the side pockets. I tried it on and I was like oh I could stop right here. but. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Sometimes when you're in Hobby Lobby, you may see some sewn garments hanging around in the sewing department. When I was in Hobby Lobby the other day, I saw some garments hanging around. And so I decided to ask the lady in the department some questions about those garments. What she told me was that those garments are sewn up from commercial sewing patterns. The garments are sewn up from fabric that is currently on sale in the store. So that way you can see how the fabric looks sewn up into a garment. Then I asked her what happens to the garments. And I was really asking because I really liked the jumpsuit and I thought it was just adorable. She said that after the fabric in the store that the garment is sewn up in, after that fabric is no longer available in the store, they will take the garment and put it for sale. So anyone can just purchase the garment if they want it, just take it up to the front register and check out. I was like, what? So I was so surprised. And then I asked her how much the garments and the items sell for. She told me that it's whatever corporate decides. So she didn't really have an answer for that. She said that they didn't have a way of knowing exactly when they will put items on sale. I guess you just have to kind of catch it if you're in there on that day and you see, she said it's a red tag, then you know it's on sale and then you can purchase it. So. I could not wait to share that information with you guys because I thought it was just so interesting. I'm working on the lining now. I just put in one sleeve and now I'm going to put in the other sleeve. I have the coat all finished and I was working on the belt. So you're supposed to sew the center seam and then stitch this together. And I tried it, but it was just way too thick to turn it inside out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this strip in half and then I'm going to put wrong sides together and just stitch around and just get my belt that way. I cut the belt in half, I put the wrong sides together and now I'm just going to stitch around all the raw edges. The pattern does call for a button and a buttonhole to go in the front and I decided to just leave those two things off. <laughs> 